Erskine as he comes in, punishing him with the left jab. Erskine still moving, but he's had no effect at all. He's trying to attack with both hands there, but Cooper's handling him capably. And then you can hear Cooper smacking in that left hook. He makes a whooping noise as it goes in. That one hurt Erskine as he staggered back a little bit. Little bit of head work in there, and there's Cooper's left hook. You hardly see Cooper throw a right-hand punch in this fight. It's a left hook all the way. Nerskin's right eye is beginning to swell up underneath. Oh, and he lands a good right hand on Cooper's jaw there. And there's the bell to end the sixth round. And here we see Cooper's corner. Erskine comes out for the seventh round. Good left hook to the body from Erskine. He's got to take the initiative away from Henry Cooper here. He's got to get his boxing together again. Start snapping that left hand home. Henry's jabbing away. He's been relying tonight on his Henry's hammer as his left hook is known. It's a fearsome punch. It's already had Erskine in trouble three times. It's Cooper's left jab that's dominating now. He's not tried the left hook recently. There it is. Snapping through into Erskine's face. And Erskine is being knocked back on his heels all the time. Erskine really can't get to grips with Cooper. He's flinging that left jab, but Cooper's is harder, faster. And now Erskine's cut over the left eye. It was puffed up and it's split open, so now both men are cut over the left eye. Better work from Joe Erskine in close quarters there. We're coming up to the end of the seventh round, and there's the bell. Both men continue to battle it out in rounds eight and nine. We rejoin the fight in round ten. And again, Cooper immediately goes into the battle with his left jab. Both are damaged around the eyes. Both have cut left eyes. Both are bruising. It's been a hard battle all the way. Erskine's still trying to box his way back into this fight. He's jabbing nicely with his left. Both the head and body. He's still trying to box his way to victory over Henry Cooper. It's a vicious right hand from Cooper, missed. He doesn't throw many of them, he misses with the left hook as well. Erskine's using his feet well. He's a cagey boxer. Cooper's trying to get in close. There he is, battling away in close, trying to slow Erskine down as Erskine is using his footwork. There's still a long way to go in this 15-round fight. But that left hook went straight into Erskine's belly. He was hurt by it, and the follow-up left hook. Erskine's in trouble here. And Cooper's landing with that left hook again. It's Cooper's power that really tells in this fight. Erskine's looking tired. He's trying to keep that left jab going, trying to keep his rhythm going, but every time he does it and Cooper lands with a good left hook, it takes a lot of steam out of him. And there's the bell to end the 10th round.
And here's Cooper coming out for the 11th. His left eye still swollen and cut. But he seemed to be getting the advantage in the last round. Erskine looked as though he was tiring. Two left jabs from both and a wild left hook from Cooper. That's the one he's really trying to land. And he goes for the right hand. Beginning to bring that into play in the last stages of this fight. You can see Erskine moving well on his feet, but his feet are tired. He smacks Cooper on the back of the neck and referee Henderson tells both men. He's warning Erskine about rabbit punching. And Cooper, as usual, goes straight back in. He doesn't bother to touch gloves as most fighters do. He goes straight in with the left hook. He's done that before. We've seen it before. Not one for the niceties of the game, Henry. He takes every advantage in the ring there. Erskine's still trying to jab, but... Cooper's left hook is beginning to get dominant again. And two left jabs from Cooper towards the end of the 11th round here. And a left hook. And Erskine staggering sideways. He goes into the ropes. Three left hooks land there. One after the other as Erskine is hurt. He's in trouble at the end of this round. And there's the bell to end the 11th round. Erskine goes back to his corner rather wearily. And here's the 12th round. It's been a tremendous fight so far. But Erskine is looking the more tired of the two. Cooper with a heavier punch is still looking to knock his man out. He's looking confident. He knows he can hurt Erskine. Erskine hasn't hurt him at all so far. And there's that whooping left hook again from Henry Cooper. Henry's hammer going to go to work. Erskine tries the right hand, but it just bounces off Cooper's head. There's no real effect. Cooper's pushing him around in the clinches. The blood's on Erskine's face. And the left hand is thudding home into that face. Erskine's slowing down to a walk. He's trying to move around. That right hand to the body lands. Cooper misses with a left hook that goes whistling over the top of Erskine's head. And that left jab snaps his head again. Left hook after left hook going in from Cooper here. Erskine still trying to fend him off with the left jab and go for the right, but that left hook, right hand and a left uppercut hurt Erskine. Oh, and a right hand from Cooper and Erskine's head goes back and over he goes from that left hook. The count is seven as he drags himself up. He's a sitting target now. Cooper's knocked him down straight away with the left hook again. He can't go on much longer. His nose is bleeding, his face is a mess. Cooper comes straight in, back onto him. Two left hooks, three left hooks. The referee must stop this fight. Oh no! Joe Erskine is hanging grotesquely over the ropes there. The referee has sent Cooper to his corner and Erskine's corner men come rushing in. They pull him off the ropes there. That looked a terrible knockout to me. What an end to the fight. The president of the Board of Control gives Henry Cooper the famous Lonsdale belt. Henry Cooper stays British and Empire heavyweight champion.